Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former welterweight champion of the world, introducing Vicious, Victor Ortiz. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former multi-division world champion, introducing Robert, the Ghost Guerrero. One, one, and one against Sal Paz. Ooh. Oh, good hard shot there. That was a right hook. And then a left hand from Ortiz. Hey. Guerrero looks hey. hurt. Ortiz has a nice arsenal. And again, he's 34. A nice combination there by Guerrero. Moving on the way in, showing a little fire. Right. Let's go. And we had a headbutt there. Nice oh. shot there by Ortiz. So we had a clash of heads. This was in the first round as you look over to the left hand go, side. Go. Let's go. So we on. took a close look at that. But, right. Right. Well, we've got good action here in round number two. Try to win these rounds, and uh, you know, you, you know, right there, good exchange by both they guys. They are letting it fly. Guerrero, he cut from Guerrero, and Ortiz, his head snaps up. Now he starts to weave, tries to get out of trouble, moving his head, trying to stay in there. Can he trade with Guerrero? Guerrero throwing some hard right. shots. Here we go. Here's here's Guerrero. Nice left uppercut. That that really didn't do. Uh, Victor, much good, but boy, well, he's getting clipped with good shots. Here's another left uppercut. Miss with the right hook. There's another angle of it. Boom. Left hook, or left uppercut, right hook. And then a little counter shot. Right. And, and, and here we go. Here's Ortiz. He gets his lick in right there. See, that's it. But it it's a left hook, uh, left straight left hand that didn't land solidly, but the hook did. That was a... Slowing down now in the mid-range. Good body Ooh. shot, but an answer from Ortiz Great with a right hook to the head. Uh -huh. Four different headbutts in this fight, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is what happens when you get a couple southpaws in there together, too. There's there's a, the third one right there. And there's another one, see? And they're just, they're just an inch apart, too, right. and that's happening. So this will give the crowd a little bit more excitement. And... Plus, see, yeah. you can get hurt. You saw that long left hand. That's that's what can happen when you're at length. You know, when you're on the inside, you can kind of... Guerrero goes to work. Oh! <laughs> that was a nice combination by Guerrero, and then a great... Did come up short. Split decision loss to Sean Porter in a very close fight. What could he do against Manny Pacquiao? We'll find out next. Combination there by Guerrero. We should see maybe the last burst. There's Guerrero. Lighten it up with what he has left. Ortiz smothers him. Guerrero trying. You know, maybe that sort of thing is enough to make an impression upon the judges. Well, Just a little flurry. It's, sometimes it's the last few seconds that do it. There's Guerrero. Oh. That was a hard left hand that he landed just before the bell. See the punches landed according to copy box 142 to 127. Yeah. And Guerrero throwing 650 punches, throwing 507 power punches as well. Again, nullified a lot, Joe, is at close range, but he was throwing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, like I said, it was a lot of give and take. It turns out, punch uh, stat that Guerrero threw more. It'll be an interesting decision again. It's yeah. not easy. These, you know, we, we, that's why when we see one we don't agree with, we try not to go ballistic because it is difficult. And here's a good example of where it, either way you swing. Yeah. Uh, and maybe you thought Guerrero just did enough in almost each and every round. You could have it wide. Doesn't mean Ortiz was never in the fight. It means he just lost a lot more rounds. No. Right. That said, we don't know which way it went. Jimmy Lennon knows though. He's got. Uh, he does have the scorecard. Jimmy Lennon Jr. is in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision as all three judges scored about the same, 96 to 94. All three in favor of the winner, Robert the Ghost Guerrero. And that, make, that makes sense, doesn't it, Joe? I mean, it's, it's that close, 96 94, and just barely for Robert Guerrero. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube.
watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.